and I feel like those are my people. Yeah. Um, so I was fortunate enough to meet a couple of women off of those groups who I actually now know in real life. Um, and they live in my town and we hang out. And those those are my people. That's my tribe. Yeah. We're building our tribes is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. As much as I, I, I'm not a fan of social media at all. I try to limit it. I actually want to delete it. I know. I hate it. I hate it. I can't scroll through it. I can't. Oh, my gosh. First time moms right now are literally irritating the hell out of me. I know I was one once, but oh, my God. Yeah. I'm like, seriously, you don't want to give your eight-month-old Tylenol for teething because you're worried it's going to affect them later on? I can't talk to you. I have to turn the internet off. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> but then you got to be so, like, appreciative that, like, this is at least something that is accessible, that it's available, that, like, right. especially during right now, it's, like, so unfortunate. Like, with everything going on right now, like, at least there's these, like, support groups to kind of yeah. have there if they're ever needed. So, I first discovered, um, what is it, Canna, Canna Mommy or something? Mm-hmm. There's a girl in California, and she was on, like, the news um, talking about cannabis and motherhood. Um, I think it was the Today Show. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I found her on Facebook a couple of years ago and I started following her personally. So I have like her original Facebook page and then she made like the, the one for her can mommy group. So I have uh-huh. both of them, but she also had like a Facebook group and I was part of it and it was concealed and like you, it was private and nobody could mm-hmm. see in it and nobody. And she told us all like before the news segment went on the air that she was going to open up, the group and make it public Uh and I messaged her and I was like and this was a couple years ago and I was like I'm so sorry like I don't want to offend you but I'm going to have to take my name off of this group list I can't have this on my Facebook yeah like if I'm looking for a new job or Mm -hmm. something like that I can't have that on my social media and now I feel like now that it's decriminalized in New Hampshire and it's legal in Massachusetts I feel like that's changed. So I feel yeah. like we're coming along. I just keep, hope it keeps going in that direction. Yeah, definitely. I didn't know that happened or that that was, um, I think that's a very big transition to make, especially for a group of people. Um, I mean, I, I was, see- I was, I was all upset about it. I asked my husband, I was crying. I'm like, Ooh, my people, and I can't be a part of the group anymore because it's public. I can't. Yeah. And I was going through, you know, stuff with my oldest father, so I can't have that public either, you know, because mm-hmm. even if it's legal in mass, it's still frowned upon. Yeah. I'm not going to, that's, that's it right there. So my, my oldest son is 11 and his father um, recently came back after being, absent for a while and he's giving me a hard time about it so he doesn't know that I still consume um and need to do his parents and my husband and I need to take him to court for child support and I'm terrified that they're gonna judge me based on that and I'm not yeah. going you know and that they could take my son away from me mm-hmm. but we'll get through it yeah and so you said a little bit about who you've told so far and um, how you've gone about that. Um, who in particular knows? So your partner knows, your children know, your dad knows. Um, who else in your family and closer, like, uh, my aunt, my aunt. My aunt. Amy knows. She's six months younger than me. It's my mom's sister. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's funny because she smokes cigarettes. And she smoked cigarettes her whole pregnancies with, with both of her daughters. And mm-hmm. both of them were born like two weeks early. Not not like severely premature, but just a little early. And just a little smaller than, than usual. And that had nothing to do with her smoking cannabis. Yeah. And all my babies were perfectly healthy and everything, but she still thinks that I should not be consuming cannabis. 